change your moisturizer. Um, okay, I'm not, uh, sorry. I felt like I was telling you, like, change your moisturizer. No. <laughs> Whatever you use on your face, you should use on your neck. So you're not like, hi, I'm like forever young, and then, hello, turkey neck. My kids, my kid is at the door. She's like, let me in, let me in. And I'm like, no. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back. I feel like it's been forever since I've actually talked to you. Today I am going to share with you guys some recommendations for taking care of your skin during the winter. Your skin is an organ. It, it, it is a living thing and you need to nourish it and take care of it. And so um, there are some things that you can do during the winter which um, you know, the weather changes, it gets colder, there's more chapped lips, drier skin, or, you know, sometimes if you're a combination skin like me, it just, your skin just gets a little confused and it's like, whoa, okay, am I, am I dry? Am I oily? Am I, I don't know, I'm freaking out, so I'm gonna break out. Yay! No. So let's get started you might need to change your moisturizer during the winter. Um, it gets colder, the weather is just cray cray, it's windy, and so your skin can get dry, which in turn causes you, causes, causes the skin to create more oil to, re you know, to make up for the excess dryness, and it's just a mess. So um, yeah, even if you're oily, you might need to change your moisturizer to something that's a little bit more moisturizing. And let's say you don't want to go out and buy a new moisturizer. Well, at night, you can do what I do sometimes, put um, coconut oil on my skin. Just, you know, not too much, just let it seep in, brush my teeth while it soaks up and then, you know, go to sleep. Next morning, my skin was nice and supple and moist and then my regular moisturizer would do the job of keeping me moisturized and not oily for the rest of the day. You could use a moisturizing mask. You put a mask on, you leave it on for about 15 minutes. Now, girl, let me tell you, there are some masks that are made to be hardening masks. So when you leave them on your skin, they harden and they dry and then you either wash them off or you peel them off. There are other masks that are not meant to be hardening masks. If you leave those masks on your skin until they harden, it will not be good. You might break out, you might develop a rash, you <laughs> might it feel itchy. Um, and it's not just, uh, it, you know, I'm not talking just specific to a Mary Kay brand. I'm talking in general. So girl, before you go put on any mask on your face, please pay attention to how long you're supposed to leave it on there. Thanks. My third tip is bum, 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 exfoliating your skin. Your skin is a living organism. It needs to be fed, it needs to be nourished, it needs to be taken care of. So, um, it also needs to be exfoliated so that it can breathe. When you exfoliate, you slough off dead skin cells, whether it's on your face, your hands, your body, your feet, wherever. Dead skin cells are not your friend. So you want to slough them off. Um, you can do go about this in different ways. My favorite way to exfoliate my skin is the Mary Kay Microdermabrasion Set. And it's got very, very fine little beads. This is what I love to use to slough off dead skin cells um, on my face. We all know that your lips can get super dry. The skin on your lips is thinner than, you know, skin on your face. And so um, the element can be really harsh on your lips. To use the, I don't know why I do that, <laughs> the Satin Lips Set. There are two steps. The first step is a mask and the second step is a balm. You, um, 
you put this on first, leave it on for about a minute, then you wash it off in circular motions with either your wet finger or a wet cloth. Once you wipe all of that off, you need to moisturize. And so you would do the lip balm. This lip balm is super, super, super moisturizing and it is a little bit greasy. So I personally like to do this at night or during the day when I'm not gonna wear any lipstick or lip gloss. Um, I recently posted a picture on Instagram of my lips. Oh my goodness. Oh man, my lips were dry. So I did this and you know, my lips were soft again. So we've gone through the face and the lips um, and now let's do the body. The Mary Kay Satin Hand Set. There are three steps in the set. The first one is an intense, intense moisturizing cream. It is very thick and even if you don't do all three steps, you can just use this as a really intense moisturizer, especially on your hands and your feet. Then you get a uh, Satin Hands Vanilla Sugar Satin Smoothie Hand Scrub. And this is the second step. It's not only going to slough off you know, dead skin cells from all over your body, um, but it is also going to be a little bit moisturized. The third step is the Satin Hands Vanilla Sugar Hand Cream. Now this is specific for your hands and I would also use it on the feet. I mean, you can use it all over your body, but during the winter, I personally like a thicker cream like um, Eucerin. And then I just save this for, for my purse. This is a magical set. You can use it on your hands and have super soft hands. You can use it on your feet because we all know feet get super crusty and yucky during the winter. Um, and then you can use it all over your body. It'll just make your body all super smooth. Your skin is going to be a little bit more glowy and not as dull as, you know, skin normally gets during the winter. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Follow me on Instagram. It's just at alicia.olson. Keep it simple. <laughs> I hope you have a super duper. Have a good day. That's what I mean, all right? Bye-bye.